in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the name of the only one God, of the one only God, His Word, His Spirit. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it is nice to meet you again after a long absence. Uh, there was a YouTube according to which apparently a Catholic bishop, I mean from the Netherlands, a Dutch bishop, suggested that people in English or in, in Dutch or in German use the word Allah for God. Well, as rightly from the Vatican, Father Jonathan Morris answered very pertinently in a very smart and objective and accurate way. If you want to speak Arabic, when you speak Arabic, then it is Allah. Allah was used first by Jewish Arabs. I mean Jews in the Arab countries. It was used also by Christian Arabs. We as Christian Arabs, we say Allah. It was used at last, or last, but not least, by the Muslim world. So there is a problem here that when you use the word Allah, people might misunderstand you and, and see there an approval of Islam or an invitation to Islam by non-Muslims, namely by some Christian, in between inverted commas, uh, scholars or clerics. Well, even Allah, apparently, I mean even apparently in the pagan Arab world, according to one Islamic version about the origins of Islam, Allah was used also by pagan Arabs as one of the divinities, probably the biggest divinity. As a matter of fact, Muhammad's father was called Abdullah, but he was pagan, according, of course, to the uh, traditional uh, Islamic version. So, let's say, first of all, Allah was common in Arabic, not in English, not in French, not in German. Then that a Catholic bishop invite to take as the name of God, a name which does not at all exist, in our Bible, it's rather strange, awkward, and of course, not recommendable at all, with all the respect to this bishop, apparently, to this person who seems to be a bishop from the Netherlands. Because here, this is the New Testament in Greek, it's Theos. In, in Hebrew, you have Elohim, the plural form, and El, El, and Elohim. In Aramaic, you have Allah. So, it is not nice to recommend a name of God which we do not have in the biblical languages, since we happen to be Christians. Let's not forget about the danger which was clearly uh, pointed to by Father Jonathan Morris from the, who works somewhere in the Vatican, namely that if you say Allah, then you might not just invite to Islam or encourage Islam, whereas you are not a Muslim, but also, then, it might mean, or it might be understood, that you are accepting the Quranic concept of Allah. The Quranic concept of Allah rejects 
to say the least, the Holy Trinity. The Quranic concept of Allah is very different from God in the New Testament. This is why this danger also, uh, in order not to run this risk, it is not at all recommendable to say Allah except in Arabic language. But even for Arabic, I hope that you can, uh, I ask the cameraman uh, to give us a small zoom here. Here is the way Allah is written in Arabic. Alif, Lam, Lam, Ha. Well, actually, Arabic is the, is originally Syriac. I'm talking about the Arabic script, especially in, in the northern part of the Arabian Peninsula. Here is how Allah is written in Syriac. So underneath is the Syriac and above is Allah. According to classical Arabic, perhaps Allah should be written in a different way. So since we don't have much time to explain this, let's just put it in a scientific, safe way, namely, that Allah, written like this, corresponds not to the Arabic orthography or dictation, but rather to the Syriac one. Because originally, the Arabic script was Syriac. Syriac means Christian Aramaic. You have the Serto, and the Estrangelo, the, the Western and the Eastern Christian Aramaic. Thank you for your attention.